Hey YouTube, welcome back to Dwayne's World. So as we all know, you only get one chance to make a good impression. So we're gonna find out today how good those rotary scissors are, but only after we lay down some much needed stripe action. So stay tuned. Ah, so today we're finally going to be breaking out the rotary scissors. Well, it's only been like a day, so but it's been a very long day since I put those together before I had an opportunity now to be able to use them. So I'm very excited, as you can tell. However, the one thing I want to make clear about this video is this video is not going to be a review of the rotary scissor, but rather a first impression. You know, I probably wait on a review after the growing season where I really got in some hours with these rotary scissors to really be able to give you my true, honest opinion on whether or not they're worth the investment. But for right now, I just want to see how well they'll do and how difficult they are to use or how easy they are to use. So with that, let's get to the video, and I'm very excited to be able to try them out for the first time. All right, let me give you guys a quick look here at the side driveway perennial rye project. As you can see here, it is definitely filled in quite nicely. A couple bare spots, but I would say it's still not quite ready to mow. You know, I probably could mow it, but at the same time, I'm going to allow it to really kind of thicken up a little bit more just because we do have a little bit of bare spots here next to the sprinkler. But very happy with the way this looks. The color, the camera's just not doing it justice. The color is phenomenal. And with that, let's get on to our mow. All right, so it's probably been about four or five days since my last mow. Most of the previous stripe action has actually disappeared. I've had a couple of days of rain. It's been pretty wet, so I haven't got out here to mow a little more recently. I normally mow about twice a week. Uh, especially with the height of cut around seven eighths to one inch. You, know, you could probably get by even with once a week uh, based on this height of cut, but I'm gonna lay down some stripe action and then we are gonna break out the rotary scissors and see how well they work on this perennial rye. California trimmer putting into work today. Let's see what kind of stripe action we got. Oh yeah, those stripes are looking great. Now I did go ahead and mow in uh, this direction as you guys can tell. It was a little surprising that I did lose some stripe action over the last few days. Uh, stripes weren't as burned in as I thought they were, but it's great to see that the California trimmer absolutely brought those stripes back to life. Now I am still currently running the smooth roller probably go ahead and convert it back out to the groove roller to be honest with you. You guys have seen me mow with my McLean that does have the groove roller and it puts down some awesome stripes as well. So I'll more than likely go ahead and revert back to the groove roller. Now recently I did throw down some Humic Mac 1608 and I'm absolutely loving the color here. Now I have toyed around with the idea of possibly throwing down some additional liquid iron just to give it an additional pop but I would say for now we are absolutely dominating the neighborhood. Cannot complain about the stripe action or the color. All right, I do apologize. I did lose my audio here on my edging clip, but I figured I'd go ahead and uh, clean up the edges using my Ego Edger attachment before I break out the rotary scissors. Definitely love the way that the Ego Edger cleans up those edges.
So Dwayne, what are your first impressions of the rotary scissors? They are freaking phenomenal. <laughs> Yes, they are. They live up to the hype. And I can see why so many people really like these things. And I only ran it for about five or 10 minutes, as crazy as that sounds. However, one of the things that I would say and why my impression is so good is really about the quality of cut. It really does a phenomenal job cutting wherever you're putting. Compare it to a string trimmer where it's like chopping up the grass and it's uneven and you can almost see swirls in your grass of where your string trimmer was. This doesn't do that at all. And I can absolutely see why people fall in love with these rotary scissors whenever they're going along edges and going along borders and flower beds, you know, really kind of clean it up. I would say though, when using them though, if I were to use them in my flower bed, I'd probably prefer to use a string trimmer if I'm trying to get rid of weeds or those kind of things to really get down to the dirt. As were with these, I felt like it was very difficult to be able to get down to dirt or even get down to where you potentially could scalp, which is why they're so great. If you think about it, when you're using a string trimmer, you almost have to try, and you really do have to try, not to scalp. You know, and we've all been there where we just, you know, tilted it at just slightly the wrong angle, and, you know, sure enough, we got a scalp. But with the rotary scissors, in some ways, almost felt like I would have to try in order to scalp. I had no scalping issues when using them for the first time. So with that, I would absolutely say right now, my first impression is a very, very good one. The initial concern I had when putting these things together was the weight. And when you pick it up, you obviously feel the weight difference as you should, being that the rotary head on the scissors are much bigger and beefier than a string trimmer. So I was expecting that, and, but at the same time, I thought, is this gonna be a problem? And no, absolutely not. And the reason why it's not an issue is because of the fact that when you're using the rotary scissors, there's a pan at the bottom that's somewhat rounded. And in a lot of ways, you're basically gliding that pan on top of the grass as if it's floating. And that really kind of helps offset the weight. So the weight really isn't a concern anymore at that point, just because of the fact that it's just kind of moving along left to right. So the only other thing I'd probably like to add about these rotary scissors, my, during my first pass right there along the walkway, the height of cut did surprise me a little bit. You know, my perennial rye is being cut at about an inch and it was cutting a little bit lower than I would like. So that was something I did have to adjust a little bit to. However, when kind of thinking about that, that's not a negative. And the reason why it's not a negative is because of the fact that generally I run my Bermuda between five eighths and three quarters of an inch. And I was initially concerned is it going to cut low enough to be able to substantiate those heights of cut? And being that that first pass established that it can cut down pretty low, I don't think I'm going to have any issue. Now, I probably could have figured it out by watching other YouTube videos or talking to other people. But just like anything else, you always have to experience it for yourself. And I'm very, very happy to see that I can get a very low height of cut without scalping uh, with using these rotary scissors. All right, and with that, I definitely appreciate you guys watching my video on these rotary scissors. Now, I know you can see a lot of other videos as it relates to rotary scissors, and I highly recommend taking a look at those. But I definitely appreciate the fact that you took the time to watch my video today. And as always, be excellent and party on. <laughs>